following your passion can be dangerous not my words these are the hard facts 90% of the people who have followed their passion have failed because they have not understood the most crucial piece in the puzzle you know i compare this following your passion is like a treasure hunt we all have watched this treasure hunt movies right if everything goes well we hit a jackpot if not it costs our life and follow your passion philosophy is no different and that's exactly what we will learn this video so in my last video we talked about how do you discover your passion in a very process way and we also said we will identify what is the difference between passion and purpose and why mere following passion can be dangerous so in this video i will answer three specific questions number 1 why following your passion can be dangerous number 2 what is the difference between passion and purpose and then how do we integrate it and the third one how do you transition from where you are to where you want to be that means follow both your purpose and passion that's exactly what we will discuss let's begin and by the way as usual again at the end of this video there is going to be one more twist i don't want you to miss that so please watch this video till the end you will love that twist hi my name is vini rajkumar and thank you very much for watching this channel and i'm very excited about this video because you know what everything ultimately boils down to finding that passion and purpose in our life and I have done a lot of work before I created this video. I hope I'll be able to add some value. It is almost 30 years of my experience, a lot of learning from some great minds, lot of research papers. I hope I'll be able to add some value to your life in this video. If you believe it is worth it, if you think it is worth it, please do give us a like and if you have not been a subscriber, love to have you as my subscriber. And by the way, I will be releasing such similar videos please press the bell icon the moment i release it you will have the notifications so let's start why following your passion can be dangerous question number 1 without any theory let me present some facts to you according to a report from ibm institute of business value on oxford economics over 90% of the startups have been closed in the last 5 years and mind you these are the people who have bet their life who have invested their money and they knew what they wanted to do and they were super passionate about it and they have failed point number 1 point number 2 can you believe people's passion kept on changing till the age of 30 a classic example steve jobs you know he wanted to become a monk to begin with he started learning meditation he came to india and after some time he realized that's not his cup of tea and went back and you know what he ended up with that means what we think is a passion does not remain that for a long time that means if you believe okay this is my passion there is no guarantee it does not change not my words not anybody's uh, gyan it is an absolute experience people have seen and in fact i was watching a interview from elon musk and he was asked a question was he 100% sure that he will build cars and aircraft i mean the rockets he said no i was just passionate about technology i never thought i'll build a car can you believe this that means you begin with something you don't know where you will end up with point number 3 think of those people who come to mumbai or any big city in pursuit of their dreams to become a singer or a player one in probably 10000 or 100000 people will be successful and these people they're absolutely passionate about their talent whether it is singing or dancing or sports or whatever it is they are disillusioned because their passion never sees the light of the day point number 4 this is specific to those people who are working in the corporate world these people don't like their job and they they are, they know what they want to do and they make a jump after that they realize that they are not being paid for it and they burn their fingers and they come back and they become a bad apple in the bag of apples and keep on telling everybody saying you know what all this follow your passion and all or fill me don't fall for it be very careful and they also lead a hopeless life and this percentage is scarily high these are not my words hr leaders across the industries have shared this with me the next point people who are absolutely passionate who are successful are ending their life and they're extremely unhappy because they have just followed mere passion and they have not found their purpose 
another danger of following their passion and the last one which we talked about in the last video people want to follow their passion but they don't know what they are passionate about with all these dangers is it worth following your passion absolutely yes you know what ships are very safe in the harbor but that's not what they are meant for so we will crack that code in this video uh, lord krishna in epic bhagavad gita says yogaha karmasu kaushalam that means any act done skillfully produces results beyond imagination that is yoga so what is that act what is that strategy that will make follow your passion work let's discover strategy number 1 let us discover the difference between passion and purpose the only reason is if we know the difference then we know whether should we follow the passion or should we follow the purpose and we'll get some clear idea strategy number 2 we need to move from follow your passion philosophy to follow your purpose with passion philosophy i repeat move from follow your passion philosophy to follow your purpose with passion how let's discover and the third one how do we skillfully make a transition from where you are to where you want to go or the area you are passionate about so let's talk about strategy number 1 what is the difference between passion and purpose passion is how you feel when you do a thing it is all about emotion while indulging in an activity for example imagine you are passionate about food so you are having a fantastic time while having the food that means it is an emotion that we derive from an act that we do on an ongoing basis that is passion but what is purpose purpose is a cause why do you get up in the morning why do you do what you do who cares what contribution you are making or what difference are you making to the world but you might say but neeraj it's all about feeling good right actually no according to maslow's hierarchical needs which starts from physical to psychological to emotional after your physical and psychological needs are met which we typically are in that situation the real peace of mind contributor is the emotional needs and which is beautifully understood and modified by anthony robbins in his six human needs he says contribution is a soul need contribution is a soul's need you must know at a very deep soul level that you matter in this world you have made a difference trust me when you understand this you will exactly know and think about it i will give you a simple example imagine you are passionate about food So I'll give you few gulab jamuns. You feel fantastic if you are a gulab jamun lover. But after some time, let's say if I give you another twenty, thirty gulab jamuns, you will probably throw up, and your your emotion diminishes beyond imagination. And true with the mobiles or the cars, we enjoy the mobiles or the cars in the first few days. After some time, it kind of becomes normal. So that means we don't have enough passion about it after some time, and it wanes. look at the purpose you are teaching somebody he says thank you very much you feel good you teach 10 people they come and say thank you you feel better you teach 100 people you make a difference to 1000 people and they come and say thank you so much you feel even better now you see the emotional difference between passion and purpose here in the purpose you are contributing and every time you get rewarded in the form of a gratitude you feel fantastic that is following the purpose i spoke about passion right this is a recent news i read one guy is so passionate about mr amitabh bachchan he has collected over 8600 articles of amitabh bachchan i don't know what articles and that was in the news my question is would these things make them feel good probably yes but what purpose are they actually meeting i have not been able to figure out because after some time it wanes and they feel hollow and not my words their words so let's talk about purpose a little deeper you know you may not enjoy the emotion while following your purpose because it may be a hard struggle on the way to achievement look at every single person who's been super happy super successful their journey has not been a walk in the park they've really struggled on their way up because they have that purpose even the struggle they enjoy and that is actually marrying the passion with purpose if i have to give you some examples uh, colonel sanders who was the founder of kfc at the age of 65 he got a 99 dollar social security check and he said i am sorry this is not what i want to or how i want to live and he had a chicken recipe which he took 
two full years to make a first sale and he lived out of his car for the entire two years across the country. Two years he lived out of his car to sell a chicken recipe and he got 1009 rejections from the restaurants and 1010th fellow said yes and he became a billionaire. And it was not a walk in the park for living in a car for two full years trying to sell a recipe, getting rejections after rejections, not a very wonderful experience. But he enjoyed the purpose so much, the travel itself was a fun for him. Go to a bodybuilder, go to a sports person, go to a singer. They look too cool to us, but the kind of struggle they go through to get to that level is actually the purpose. And they love every minute of the struggle. That is marrying the passion with purpose. You know, I was listening to Elon Musk the other day. He said, do you really want to become big? Then work 100 hours a week. If you are working anything less, then don't talk. Powerful message. I want to present you some evidences how following your purpose can actually yield into amazing life and amazing results. Let me present you what I call blue zones in the world. There are five places in the world, they are called blue zones. And these are the places where people have found to be living more than 100 years and 110 years with health and happiness. They are called centenarians and super centenarians. What are these places? Okinawa, Japan. Icaria, Greece. Sardinia, Italy. Nicoya Peninsula, Costa Rica. And Lomo Linda near California. These places have the maximum concentration of centenarians and super centenarians. There was a study done about how these people in Okinawa live. What is the secret of their long happy life? And it is found out that they live by a principle called Ikigai. Ikigai means meaning for life. Simple. So this is actually the purpose. You know the world is very surprised how people live such a long healthy life. So there was a study done, especially with people from Okinawa, Japan. You know, they have an interesting concept called work till the last breath and there is nothing called retirement. You know, I get to hear this very often when I visit a lot of young professionals. They say, you know what, Neeraj, I'll work till 40 and retire. I'll print money till 40 and then retire. I kind of a laugh at them and not with their ignorance or with their inexperience but with myself because that's exactly what I used to do or I used to say when I was in early 20s. When I was in early 20s, I said my life has just begun and when I talk to people who are at 30, they say my life has just begun and when I talk to people who are at 40, they say, you know what Neeraj, I think I'm, I'm kind of a settled now, my life is just begun and when I talk about people at 50, which I am, I believe my life has just begun. And I thought 50 are kind of it's a retirement age. It's not true. I speak to people who are at 80 and they say, I have such a huge contribution to make. That means retiring is a myth. In fact, I will be making a very specific video on this concept alone. When should you retire? I hope you're going to love it. That's going to come soon. Coming back to the topic. So these people in Japan, they don't retire. And what is even more shocking, in Japanese language, there is no word called retirement. That's taking it to the next level. Okay, so let's discover more about Ikigai. That is purpose of life. It is a very interesting composition of four elements. One, you will find a purpose if you meet these four criteria. Criteria number one, are you great at it? Criteria number two, do you like it? Criteria number three, does the world need it? And the criteria number four, will you be paid for it? I was checking how valid is this framework with my own life and let me share that with you. I am a trainer, coach, a, a therapist and a counselor. Am I living my purpose? Simple. Am I great at what I do? Reasonably, yes, because one, I have checked with my natural intelligences. I have three intelligences that quite suit with what I'm doing. It's linguistic, interpersonal and logical. Second one, do I love it? Yes, all the five criteria of following your passion is met as per my last video. They are very much there. Third one, does the world need it? Yes, world need it because they call me and I do deliver programs and stuff like that. Am I being paid for it? Pretty well. So all the four criteria are met. So if I check this framework, I think it's a fantastic thing. Look at how it evolves. 
you are great at it and you like it it is passion you are great at it you like it and the world needs it then it's your mission all the three and world will pay you for that that becomes your vocation and vocation over a period of time continuously sustained vocation becomes your profession that means if you are in a profession which satisfies all the four you are living your purpose i said that's an eye opener so we have understood point number 1 and point number 2 in our previous video are you good at it you need to find your natural intelligences from the multiple theory of multiple intelligences the second one do you like it do you have all the five criteria of do you live your passion so that's taken care of let me spend a little time about does the world need it how do you know world needs it so you need to know and check with people whom you believe it can add value do they really like it and in the world needs it there are two things one is a nice to have another one is a need to have if it is a nice to have you have to be very careful because even if you don't give them they don't care but if it is a need to have service then they will pay you for that that's exactly the fourth point i propose a strategy so move from follow your passion to follow your purpose with passion that means everything is taken care of and you are having a blast while doing it let's come to the third point so how do you make a transition from where you are to where you want to go i want to propose four simple steps that will help you make a smooth transition number 1 earn the freedom to experiment your idea you might probably have a fantastic idea but my question how do you know that your idea is sellable and you continuously enjoy over a sustained period of time two things so if you experiment and you may probably have to stretch a little because otherwise you may not be able to do it in your office hours i did this because when i wanted to become a trainer i was working with 3m and i stretched a lot during weekends and i used to do training programs on the weekends for free and people said we really want you to come and do it on the weekdays that means i was able to see that yes there is an acceptance that my talent and passion is being rewarded or probably is needed in the world step number 2 this is very crucial friends lead a minimalistic life you know the moment we have a job and salary is a little wonderful we fall into a trap of emis and i heard a funny one liner somebody said do you want to love your company take emis do you want to love your boss take bigger emis you know we don't want to fall into that trap so lead a minimalistic life so that your standard of life is not that a risk for you to make a jump step number 3 plan for sustenance and with risk appetite for example imagine the passion you are trying to kind of a convert that into a profession or a purpose may require some gestation time you may not see the fruits overnight you may want to experiment it might probably take a little longer time and your kitchen should run at that point of time ensure that the kind of savings you have should sustain you for the number of years or months that you will expect the uh, your passion to reward you you must have that sustenance plan step number 4 be very mindful and be realistic about the impact you are making you know sometimes we are very emotionally married to our passion if somebody is telling you it is not a good thing we don't want to listen to it that's a big mistake if somebody tells you i am not happy with your services or probably people will say i may not pay you for that you must listen to them and take your service to the next level you cannot say oh he doesn't like me that's why he's telling me no that's being absolutely not very intelligent you will have to be very mindful go to people who are skeptics go to people who are enthusiastic go to people who are neutral try it out do some blind testing these are the things that will give you a guaranteed feedback yes i have tested my idea I love what I do world needs it and they will pay me not the first time but I am also getting repeat orders and sometimes you may have to do it free and you may have to do it free for a very long time that means you have to burn your cash that's the price you have to pay to follow your purpose with passion so this is a transition plan and trust me friends once you are on the other side every single day is a song and you will be in the zone and you don't even know how time goes by 
every single day you look forward to waking up and you just don't want to go to bed i heard this one beautiful one liner from steven spielberg he said when i get up in the morning i'm so excited i can't have my breakfast i mean i love that statement now it's time to discover the twist that i promised you in the beginning of the video the twist is even after following your purpose with passion is there a possibility that one can be still unhappy the answer is yes he can be unhappy this brings us to a very important question how balanced is our life let me give a couple of examples uh, let's take an example from the history or few examples from the history that actually tell us that if you are too indulged in the purpose you may probably have a chance to lose the balance in your life our father of the nation mahatma gandhi didn't have a great equation with his eldest son and his family life was not all that great not my words you can check it in the history martin luther king junior he sacrificed his family life to go after the purpose that he was after leo tolstoy and there are many such examples but can we learn from them on following the purpose and learn some more better so that we still follow the purpose and yet not sacrifice the family or a see an imbalance in other categories of life that's exactly what we need to discover how do you balance your life and the first question you need to know is how do you know whether your life is balanced because this will give you such a deep insight about who you are and how balanced our life is not only in family in other areas as well is there a tool that you can use to discover that absolutely yes that's what i will be presenting to you in the next video and once we discover how balanced is our life the next obvious question is how do you bring in balance and lead a life that we are truly proud of with purpose and passion i hope i was able to add some value in the purpose and passion area any questions please write to me in the comment box i'd love to answer your questions and this is a little longer video i understand only because i didn't want to shorten it because this is kind of a course that we need to go through immerse ourselves find out where we are and discover our true purpose thank you very much once again before i end it will be an honor to have you as my subscriber if you haven't subscribed already and do share with those people whom you care till i see you in the next video keep learning keep sharing